All right, we're going to make this video kind of backwards probably. Um, we've stripped down the old 1951 Ford F1 pickup truck. And here lies the frame. Frame's up in the garage now. You can see right outside is the cab. We'll look at it in a minute. Um, frame is fixed to get started on it. Started taking the front suspension away. And uh, we're going to basically roll the front suspension to the rear. Chalk up the front of the frame. And then we're going to take out the rear suspension. And we're going to roll both suspensions out the, out the garage. And we'll have just the frame. And then we can start on all the suspension rebuilds. 1997 Ford Thunderbird rear suspension going in. Dual disc brakes. Independent with airbags. And then the front will be a Mustang 2 style. Front suspension welded in with airbags. It's uh, made by... Uh, full tilt and uh, so that's that's next steps and then uh, we're going to get the motor and trans mounted in it and then then we're going to start on on the bodywork also behind the rear suspension here will be a, a fuel tank fuel cell uh, you can see that this it's not really a cross member much of one anyway but this little cross member is tore up in the truck it'll go away this cross member will probably get moved back in order to free up space for the for the gas tank. We'll see how that works out. And uh, anyway, so we've got the running gear in the garage. We're going to start putting it all back together. Um, here's the cab after it was lifted off. Cab is in better shape than I thought. I don't know if I'd say it's in good shape, but it's better shape than I thought it was going to be in. Firewalls, firewalls solid, no significant rust damage you can see uh, the front corner on the cabs got a little rust here uh, I think that's pretty patchable be some small handmade patch panels for that nothing too major and there's a ton of surface rust of course the doors are in decent shape I say that the door bottoms at least are in decent shape it's a little bit of a little bit of rust through in places again I think this is going to be patch up the uh, gas tank is out took it out during the during the disassembly uh, one thing you will notice probably I can block some light see some holes there in the back wall of the cabs there's a little bit of rust there and then here in the here in the front a little bit of rust in the floor pans the front portion of the floor pans here you can see some rust through i should say so you can see some in there yeah you can see some definitely you can see some here if i lift the seat up you'll find that the rear portion behind the trans tunnel is uh that floorboard is in good shape trans tunnel have to come out so we're not running the original three speed so uh we're gonna have to build a new trans tunnel so there'll be some work to do in here but overall not too bad the uh, gas cap hole uh, will be taken out and it'll all be flushed. And then you saw those holes from the inside, this little section. Uh, see, this whole section right in here. It's got some decent rust, but we have this cab that we're going to use as a, as a donor for some of these pieces. Uh, generally, where this cab's not so great, that cab's a little bit better in places. Um, Cab corners, standard issue on these vehicles. Cab corners, they're rusted out. We're gonna buy replacement cab corners to weld onto here. Uh, we've gotta look at the substructure a little bit, make sure it's all good, but what I saw while we were taking it apart, and I didn't uh, take this part apart by myself, had a lot of help, so I didn't see it all. Um, I think the cab's in pretty decent shape, as far as I'm concerned. That's really the worst of it. Um, here is the Ford flathead that was in it. It's uh, under under wraps. We got two froze pist frozen pistons. They're being oiled. Here's the three-speed transmission that was in it, which is tiny, which is why we're going to have to do a lot of trans tunnel rework. Here's the uh, independent rear suspension out of the Thunderbird that's going into the truck. You can see it's been sitting here a while, grass growing up around it. But that'll be going in pretty soon. Uh, there's a number of body panels up here and uh, we've got extra body panels doesn't mean we've got enough good body panels but we've got a bunch uh, we'll we'll make up what we can from what we have and then the rest 
will fab up or buy. Here you can see this cab corners pretty significantly rusted through, so that whole piece will have to go. Uh, generally though, I think the structure of the cab's in good shape, and that's pretty exciting in my book. I was really worried about how much work that was going to be. So, yeah, it's a go. Got this thing kicked off. And we're going to, like I said, we're going to start on the suspension, getting the uh, suspension work done, the powertrain installed, fuel tank, air tanks, air controllers, uh, things like that. Overall, though, I think the frame is uh, it's in good shape. And it's got a ton of surface rust, you can be sure, but the only thing significant on the frame, I think, is going to be areas like this on the, uh, uh, what are those things? Anyway, now these are the supports that come out and uh, hold the, uh, ah, man, the rail that goes along the side here. We're stepping up on. And uh, that word will come to me in a minute. So we're in good shape, I think. I'm going to add some video onto the back of this. I was busy tearing things down, didn't do a lot of video on the teardown, but you'll see at least what it looked like to start with. Show you a little bit of video if I can on the motor teardown. I'm not sure about that video, whether it's going to be usable or not. The motor teardown wasn't intended, but uh, I am going to rebuild that that Ford Flathead at some point. So a friend of mine just had to do it. And uh, I appreciate his help. Here's the clutch and brake assembly. And uh, leaving those pieces, we're gonna have to seriously relieve this cross member, if not take it out completely. But we still have to maintain, I still want to maintain uh, these foot pedals. I just love the style of these old school pedals and the uh, way they go through the floor. It's, uh, that's yeah, just part of the charm of a vehicle of this age. I could certainly go get some dash mounted or some cab mounted uh, pedal assemblies out of various old cars, but I just love this through the floor system that these things have. So we're going to try to keep that. Anyway, I think that's most of what I wanted to cover. A lot of work to do, but at least we're getting started. So come back and check up on us and we'll post updates as we go. Take care. All right, well, today's the day we tear down the 1951 Ford F1. You can see the front clip is off. Got good help going here. Working on removing the transmission mount bolts. Engine bolts are out. We're fixing to pull that little guy out of there. And then my crew back here in the back has cut off all the all of the bed hold down bolts. So the bed's fixing to come off of here. Not much of a bed, but it's fixing to come off here anyway. And it's going to go be stored uh, back in the little yellow temporary garage back there. So we're going to take this thing back there and see what we can do and see how it comes apart. And she's off. Why don't you set it down right there for the moment? Watch your fingers. Now she's a bobtail. Now she's a bobtail. All right, we'll get back with you. This is a process. I'm going to finish up this segment, uh, first segment on the truck rebuild. Uh, it's the 1951 Ford F1. Hopefully you know that from the title. Um, but basically the frame is now totally stripped. And I say that uh, the front and rear suspensions have all been removed, hauled out of here. And the... Uh, Spring perches, the shock supports, everything, those kind of things have been taken out. Um, you can see, for example, here where the forward rear spring perch was previously. Uh, I'm going to come back and weld those holes up. Those holes that I know were part of the prior suspension system, we're going to weld those up and just, uh, uh, it's not really structural, it's just for aesthetic reasons um, certainly not going to weld up all the holes in this frame that we're not going to use uh, but we'll weld up weld up a good good number of them um, so we're, we're pretty much ready to get started now on the rebuild i've uh, welded the holes up uh, here on the front where the various uh, suspension components were at and again i just certainly didn't weld all the holes just 
just a handful for aesthetic purposes. But and then um, starting the boxing, we're gonna box, uh, put boxing plates in for the front suspension, uh, and then we're gonna begin to install the front suspension. Here's the here's the uh, cross member. You can tell it's been in my garage for a while. It's gotten a bit rusty. That's my fault. Uh, but this is a uh, full throttle, no, full tilt street rods. Mustang 2 independent front suspension with airbags system that we're installing here. And so first things first is the uh, is to install the the uh, boxing plates and then we'll install the cross member and then the shock hat. Uh, and it just goes on and on. So I'm going to make that another video and uh, we're going to do a little bit of cleanup, do a little bit of cut out here on the lower frame rail, lower portion of the frame rail where it's it comes out past uh, where I want to box it and uh, get that get that done and then when we install start installing the uh, front end for real then I'll I'll bring you back and we'll start another video part two of the 1951 Ford F1 truck series thanks have a good day